Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Proactivity 1000 PLC P1-RX Remote I.O. Base Hardware. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca and link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start your video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Now the P1-RX is a full featured high performance remote slave module for use with the Proactivity 1000 and Proactivity 2000 systems. Now the P1RX remote slave unit supports a maximum of eight IO modules. So if you need additional IO, consider adding an additional P1-RX to your system. Configurations can easily be done using the online tools that are available on Automation Direct's website. Um, and this is what it looks like here. So as you add the, instead of the CPU, you would add the remote uh, unit itself. Then you can add the appropriate cards up to a maximum of eight for this remote rack. Now, um, the supply voltage to the P1-RX is 24 volt DC. This can come from an external power supply or, or a Proactivity 1000 power supply. And rotary dials will set your unique address for your remote slave unit. And this must be set uh, from anywhere from one to 99. And zero, zero is the default, which comes out of the box. So this must be set prior to powering up the unit or you will get an error. Also, we have our uh, ethernet port right here that will go back to the uh, remote uh, port on our uh, CPU unit. The ethernet port is actually a either a crossover or a straight through cable. So we can have a maximum of four of these units per uh, Proactivity 1000. So if we look at the actual hardware that we have here. So this is how it comes just in a package. We'll open that package up and you'll see that we have our uh, remote slave booklet here. Specifications. Then we have our actual module. So here's the actual modules that we have. And you can see here that we have our indication lights. And we also have our slave address. And then we have our connection here. And the first thing we'll do is we'll set this slave address and we'll just set it to uh, one for now. There we go. So now it's set for one. And you have the indication lights located right here. We have a power run and a CPU light. So if there's any errors, our communication cable is coming from our P1 550. And you will see that we actually are uh, connecting it through our remote IO terminal right here. So as you notice, uh, like all the P, uh, P1 series, we have a connector here on our bus. Take that off. We will take our list of IO cards that we're going to install and they will actually snap together to this unit. Press down the clip and then it's ready to go. We'll take the uh, bus connector or the ethernet connection and we'll just plug that in. So now we have our complete system. So here we have our uh, CPU unit right here, our P1550 through our, ether, our remote IO unit and going directly into our productivity. Um, P1-RX unit. And we can power that up with 24 volt supply to this unit to power up the rest of the cards on the rack. And in this particular rack, I have a simulator card, an output card, and a thermocouple card. And if I look at the um, unit, if I have more than one unit, what I would do is actually add a ethernet switch to that. So an industrial ethernet switch, then I can add more uh, devices to this uh, uh, productivity here. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want it for eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.